on the hour, every hour, for 12 hours. The RAF women's squad jumping, running, squatting and pushing in this mega start. training session. The man pushing them to the limit is their strength and fitness coach, Sergeant Ben Brook. The season's just been a, so far, been a complete write-off for those playing below sort of premiership level. Um, and with us all sort of based at all different places around the country, we've not had the opportunity to come together um, and train and play. And um, this was an idea sort of cooked up by the management a couple of weeks back, um, thrown together um, just to bring everyone together and um, have us kind of pushing in the same direction. So far, one done, uh, and it's really horrible. <laughs> do people have to do all of the exercises? There's, there's 12 sessions. They're all sort of CrossFit-based um, sessions um, that don't require any kit. So for the first one we did, um, six lots of 400 meter runs, 24 squats, 24 press ups, 24 lunges. Um, some people are just going to do an hour. Some people are going to come in and do all 12. Um, but we're key to kind of point out this is for absolutely anyone for military, non-military personnel. They want to just join in for get a sweat on, get that good endorphin feeling. Um, you know, it's that buzzing type feeling you get from exercises, then anyone's welcome to join in. It's a long time since the RAF secured their first ever inter-services title and the virus has meant it's been impossible for many of them to play rugby at all and to train together. The tests haven't just been confined to gym work. They've been out running as well and have shown their resourcefulness with the way they've handled the challenges. One of the toughest set by their army rivals, though none of the army players actually took on the challenge themselves. Yeah, thanks to the army for uh, providing that ward for us. Um, Tough workout, exactly what we expect if we were playing them in, in its services this year. So I'm sure we'll think of a way to pay them back um, next time we see them. I think that was the hitting a slight wall on that one. <laughs> the first four, I say they've been all right. I would quite say OK, but they've been manageable where that one definitely starting to feel it now. I must sort of feel that it's bringing you all together as a as a team, as a squad. Yeah, I, I think this is probably the first, first time we've had this many of us together. So it is nice. And, um, yeah, it might be fizz, but, uh, yeah, at least we're together. <laughs> Anything that you're dreading later on, Zoe? Uh, I think it'd be right saying all of it, but, uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. It's just very challenging, um, but I'm enjoying it, and it's a great turnout, so it's good to see the effort from the girls. The great thing about this 12-hour challenge is that anyone can do it, and you can do any exercise you like to help boost the cause. Their aim was to raise funds for the RAF Benevolent Fund that already cracked their initial £500 target after four hours and pushed on even further. You know, we really appreciate um, the Benevolent Fund being able to allow us to do this and our SNC coach, Brookie, as well as and yourselves. Thank you for, for drawing attention to it. And today is all about raising money for one of our, um, one of our sponsors. It's Benevolent Fund. They do fantastic work um, for serving an expert uh, military personnel. After 12 sessions, the team finally got to the end. A superb effort, some amazingly having done every single one of the dozen tests. I think even the fact that people are watching you kind of <laughs> pushes you more because you can't skip that rep or <laughs> not do something. <laughs> but yeah, obviously supporting all together, definitely. A fantastic effort from everybody and um, it really helps having other people around and on the video. So when you think that you can't do that one last rep and you look at the video and everybody else is still going, it definitely pushes you to just do that little bit more. People, like I said, have done it like all 12 today, um, but it just reflects how much it means to us to like put this effort in and how much like we all want to raise money for a good cause. The start is going to really kind of drive us forward for the next few months when we kind of, uh, the gyms are back open uh, and we've got that kind of end goal of, of IS21 and, and trying to retain the title. And they smashed their target, raising £1,180 for the RAF Benevolent Fund. You could call it the ultimate in team building from a distance. John Knighton, Forces News.